So yeah, we can sometimes uh, uh, use a mix of these uh, architectures in our application, I guess. Yes, but you want to avoid as well the Frankenstein <laughs> application where every screen follows a different pattern and then it's very hard to kind of know what's going on because there's no standard, there's no you know, exactly. pat clear pattern. So yes, you can, you can, you know, say, oh, this screen would probably benefit from having a presenter, but don't vary too much. Like every screen in the application is 100% different. It would create a lot of confusion probably in the code base. But you can vary those patterns. Depends on the frameworks you're using, depending on the needs of the project. For example, NVVM, usually you create a view model for a specific view. Thus, the view model will depend. If you're, it's a UI kit application, this view model will contain like UI colors, yeah. UI details, you know, that are specific to UI kit. Then you, if you want to use a different framework here, you won't be able to because the view model is coupled to the platform, coupled to the framework. If you want to deploy this on Mac OS, for example, it's not going to work because you don't run UI kit on Mac OS unless you're using Catalyst, but <laughs> then you have other issues. <laughs> so what do you do? You decouple your view model from the specific framework you're using, from the specific user interface, and you create a platform, uh, a platform agnostic view model. And then you can plug different UI here. And you can use the same view model on Mac OS with AppKit and iOS with Swift UI or UI Kit and so on. But again, that's a decision you need to make depending on your application. If you want to deploy that application in multiple platforms, maybe you need to decouple your view models from the specific framework. Otherwise, you just couple the view model with that framework. So it's a choice you're going to have to make. They will change a little bit the implementation depending on the needs you have in your project. And I think the MVP is easier to reason about, as you mentioned, because you're dealing with more basic constructs that you get from the language, like protocols and callbacks, rather than using binders, XML, or combine RX Swift, which brings some <laughs> extra complexity, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Makes sense? Yes, definitely.